my lovelies, it's Lunar Light Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, if you're new, I'm so honored to have you with me here today. So y'all saw that title, you already know what it is. This is, what does your crush think about you? And then the OG reading today is also gonna be, what is their fantasy about you? That is at the end of the reading. So I have three piles here in front of me today, keeping it short, uh, sweet, and simple. So we got gossip for the first pile friendship for the second pile and wallflower for the third okay so go ahead and choose one of your three piles of course like i said i have the og reading at the end that is for anybody who wants to watch it um and yeah that is it at this time i'm not available for personal readings but you guys would know if you saw my last my last video and uh yeah that is it i will see you at your piles okay bye bye Hey there, pile number one. If you chose this gossip card, this is your reading. Let's go ahead and get into it. I've already pre-pulled the cards today, just for funsies. All right, so let's look at what you got first. I'm using the Tarot of Sexual Magic to start out with. And uh, I wanted to make this a small, a longer reading in a shorter amount of time, if that, if that makes sense, without me having to pull the cards. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out what you got. So you got the Nine of Swords, Three of Pentacles, the Sun Reversed, the Lover's Reversed, and the Chariot Reversed. So your crush is thinking about you that you are kind of hard to get. They're very interested in you. They're, they think you're very hot, very sexy. I'm also getting like, um, they like your physique. They like your body. They also really appreciate your stomach area, your chest area. And it doesn't matter what body you inhabit. This is like, they really like the look of your stomach. It's really coming through pretty strong. Um, they also like your style as well. Um, they feel like you have good style. You are like, I don't know, you come off pretty sexy to them, like a smoking gun or something, like or like a, this black cat. Like You kind of have this mysterious aura to you, um, this person feels. But yeah, they feel like you're really hard to get. Um, and they feel like uh, that they've been trying to kind of get through to you a little bit and like show you that you're interested, but you kind of have your guard up. That may or may not be true, but they feel like you have your guard up. They feel like you're not totally open to their advances towards you, okay? This is especially true if you like work with this person or um, this person is at your school or job, you know, stuff like that. As an extra confirmation then we have the Sun in reverse here so they really feel like they could have a chance with you but they also feel like you're either a league or you're not that interested in them like they see a huge opportunity here with the Sun but they also feel that maybe you don't see that or you're not as interested so that's kind of why it's in reverse all right they even feel like you could be seeing someone else they even feel like you could you know be taken already they're not sure if you have a partner already um, and they're really hoping to possibly, you know, be that person, maybe. Um, but yeah, they're not sure which direction to move in because it just doesn't seem like you are, you know, like kind of giving them the time of day, okay? They feel like they're, they feel like you're not interested in them, really. They feel like you kind of are just like maybe friendly and flirty in general, but they're not really being flirty towards them. They can't tell, okay? So let's go ahead and look at the white cards. All right, we have, I'm really proud to be around you. I admire you. So you're well admired in your uh, your place of work or school. If this person is there, you're well admired there. Okay, I can see myself with you long term, most definitely. You know, part of you kind of not being totally, I mean, from their perspective, right, willing to like take on their advances and like respond to them, also makes me feel like they would could be with you long term. They kind of like that because they're like, okay, this person is not easy to sway. I have to really impress them and th they appreciate that um, that standard and that boundary and also it makes them feel like you would be a faithful partner things like that okay then we have attractive carefree unbothered detached and self-love exactly like I don't know you're the kind of person you guess who walks into the room and you're like listen I don't have to be attracted to anyone here boy was that a game changer when I realized that When I realized that I actually didn't have to be attracted to anyone in my vicinity just because, you know, like maybe they were, you know, presenting as a gender I'm attracted to. And uh, yeah, that, that helped me a lot actually. But anyway, because you don't have to be attracted to people. But yeah, it just it just seemed like, um, and what I mean by that, that, that may have been kind of vague. You know when like, you know when you're in a group and like you 
you kind of almost like sometimes maybe when you're younger like almost like force yourself to have a crush on someone because otherwise it kind of be boring like the interaction would be boring and then after you find out that person's not into you or they have a partner or whatever you're like oh and it's fine and you didn't care at all actually like that's there's like a that's actually a, a word for that if you know the word for that drop it in the comments below but that helped me a lot when i was like yeah i don't have to be attracted to these people i can just work with them or i can just talk with them or i can just be friends with them anyway that was a whole other point but yeah, this person feels like you're kind of on that vibe like you're you know you're not easily impressed and you're not just gonna fall for someone just because they're in the room all right but they're also kind of feeling like maybe you're playing games you know what i mean like you're so atta uh, attractive and detached they almost feel like okay is this person playing games with me are they actually interested in me and they're just acting like they're not interested in me like they they kind of can't necessarily tell then we have, I think I'm falling in love with you, coupled with, I'm taking the time to kick of my emotions right now. So this person does have a lot of bubbling feelings for you. Um, they are feeling very attracted towards you. There's a lot of sexual energy here as well. Okay. Um, but they're just trying to kind of figure out how they feel because they don't want to come towards you and like scare you either. Okay. Because it seems like you're not easily uh, won over. Let's look at the romance angels. I had expressed your love. Okay. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Then we got free yourself, time to take control over your life, flirt, all right, and worth waiting for. I actually start here because I pulled this one first. <laughs> um, but yeah, this person feels that like you are worth waiting for, the, this connection is worth waiting for, all right? So in the meanwhile, they're just going to kind of like flirt with you, take their time, try and get to know you, try and show you that they like you, right? And hope that kind of pays off. They're also going to try and free themselves from this perspective of feeling like you don't like them or that you're not interested in them. Like they're just going to, they're going to try and just go for it. And if they get rejected, they get rejected, right? Um, I almost put triangle for this pile. So if this, if, so if you're in a triangle of any sort, this is an extra confirmation for you because I actually just switched those out last minute and was like, no, gossip is better. Okay, so like I said, it's gonna be short and sweet. So I have the last cards here. Um, and so we got self-indulgence and it came out in reverse, which says focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. That came out in reverse. Then we have camera, reminiscing, keepsake, learn from the past, and make memories. All right. Heart with a key says welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, getting together, and perfect. And then we also have not today, which says not dealing, her avoiding a conversation, call our person, boundaries, and still angry. So this person kind of has like these, they feel like you're giving them mixed signals and they're like only slightly annoyed by this, okay? It's kind of like they feel like you're you're into yourself in a really healthy way, but they can't tell if you're just like playing games and pretending to be just into yourself the way you look cool, or they can't tell if you're just like actually super cool and like they just can't get to you, you know? Um, but either way, they're not going to take the chance right away. They want to take some time to kind of keep scoping things out with you and seeing and trying to gather information on you. So I see this person probably going on your social media, your Instagram, your Twitter, trying to see if you have a partner or something or TikTok or whatever right um, but they really think that you could be a good match for them if you were to be single if you were interested in them so yeah they are into you for sure they don't know if you're into them they think you could be seeing someone else they think that you could be playing games with them but if you're not playing games with them they are all over you they're like oh my god you're so cool I hope you're not pretending to be this cool because you're just like really awesome okay so that is it for today. Short and sweet. I hope y'all liked that. I hope you really uh, enjoyed it and got something from it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And if you'd like uh, a personal reading, I'm actually not accepting them at this time. Sorry, I'm going through my script, guys. I like forgot. <laughs> I said it so many times. I'm on autopilot. Anyway, um, check back with me in a week uh, if you want a personal reading. So I'll be taking them uh, probably in the next like week. All right. Um, but yeah, that is it guys. And also check out the OG reading if you want to know this person's secret fantasy towards you. Ooh. All right, got chills. Anyway, so I'll talk to you in the next one. Hope y'all enjoyed. Okay, last 11 light. Bye-bye. Hello there, friendship. If you chose this pretty card, this is your reading. Let's go ahead and get into it. I've already pre-shuffled the cards today, uh, just for funsies. So let's go ahead and get into what you got. I'm using the Tarot of Sexual Magic 
to start off with. And you have the Two of Pentacles in reverse, the Seven of Swords, um, the Queen of Pentacles, both in reverse, the Judgment card, the Justice card, and the Sun, and these two are in, I mean, sorry, and the Temperance card, and these two are in reverse. So you actually get the most cards out of all the deck for uh, this section. Let's go ahead and get into it. So your person feels like you're not that into them, okay? They feel like you, um, you know, maybe wouldn't respond to their advances. They feel like you're too busy right at this point in time. They also feel like you're very sexy, okay? Um, the physique is on point no matter what you look like. Um, and this person is looking at your butt quite a bit. Like, they think you have great legs, a great lower body in general, but like a dump truck possibly. And if you don't have one of those, that's totally fine. I'm seeing that, you know, they like your butt no matter what the shape is. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. So anyway, they feel like you're really busy though. They feel like you don't have time for them or their advances. Or if this actually is a friend of yours, you have a crush on, they feel like you don't have time for like their friendship any longer. I know that's a lot, right? Um, but they basically feel like they're kind of trying to reach out, but they're afraid you won't be into that. Um, anyway, so we have the Seven of Swords in reverse here. Maybe something happened between the two of you um, that was like kind of like a small falling out or like you guys got distant for some reason, you know, time passed um, and you guys haven't seen each other in a while. They feel like it's really hard to break this distance between you two. They feel like it's really hard to be able to communicate with you again. Any of you two are actually talking, they feel like you two are not on the same page when it comes to this emotional part of the relationship, like, you know, how they actually feel about you. So they are into you, but they just kind of feel like it's a little bit hopeless. It's kind of sad. All right, so we have the uh, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You know what this also is? They feel like you're out of their league. They feel like you are, you know, super hot, super sexy. You got amazing face, hair, and body, like, this person thinks you are, you know, 11 out of 10, just super bomb, and they really feel like they wouldn't necessarily send a chance with you, or that you wouldn't really want to be with them, um, they feel like, I don't know, this is kind of extra, but they almost feel like they have this, like, servant queen energy to you, like, you know, they don't really feel like they're on your level, they don't feel like they could be, you know, like, um, you know, part of your royal lineage, if you will, they feel like they're one of the bus boys, cleaning up after you they're very happy to do that um but they are like eh, i don't really feel like we we would fit together because i don't know they feel like they're on you feel like you're on a whole different level and really they're kind of just judging themselves prematurely here with a judgment card um they're judging themselves a little bit too harshly i don't really feel like you feel this way about them you could actually be you know surprised to hear this because again this is your crush you could be like whoa i don't feel the way at all i really like them um but this is how they feel this is how they think that you feel about them you know, they feel like you're, they feel like you think that they're, you're not interested in them. Does that make sense? Um, okay. Then we have the justice card in reverse. Um, you know, they're going to find a way to kind of come towards you. I do think they're going to be able to heal this. Really, this is a matter of perspective. Um, obviously it depends on your situation. Maybe this, you know, feeling is, is warranted, but I do feel like they're hopefully going to get a better uh, change of perspective soon. Something's going to be coming to like kind of um, to kind of knock the wind out of them and then help them get to this point here with the temperance in reverse. Or maybe it's even this time of separation if you two are in some kind of separation. It's actually happening to them to realize their feelings about you and gather the courage to come towards you in a more real way. Okay, so let's look at your white cards now. You got a whole bunch of those too. Okay. I find you intriguing and mysterious. You're sexy, okay? But we knew that already, okay? Prr, all right? Are you thinking about me? I need to know you still care. I mean, absolutely. This person is totally wondering if you even still care about them, especially if you two have not been talking for a while. They really feel like you have moved on from, you know, liking them or having a crush on them or even being interested, okay? Let me have, this is only a test, don't settle. Okay, I really do feel like this is for them in terms of only a test, not necessarily don't settle. I feel that, you know, the universe could be like testing, quote unquote, their confidence, or really giving them an opportunity to, to fly when it comes to this. I mean, if you're interested in them, then they'd have no problem taking the leap, right? Um, so that's kind of what I'm talking about, like, this is kind of almost, it's almost like a little bit of an offer. It's an opportunity for them to build some confidence and then come towards you. And if they end up getting rejected, you know, it is what it is. Like that'll, you know, help them for the future probably. 
I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this. Okay, I'm seeing someone else. Hmm. They could even feel like maybe you're seeing someone else. Um, they could feel like that's why you're not interested in them. If you are actually seeing someone else, this person is kind of sad about it. And, you know, they really, they feel like they never got the chance to confess how they felt to you before you got in a relationship. Okay, that's for, that's for a special group. I want to get closer to you. I mean, we already knew that, okay? They want to get closer to you. They want to get closer to that bootay, all right? Um, I'm trying to make you thirsty for my attention. Is it working? And then we got, if we were to trade places, you see how difficult it really was. You know what? This person could be playing a little bit of a game when it comes to the separation. They could be hoping that you're going to reach out to them first, but I don't really see that being the case here. Um, but yeah, they, they feel like they're having a really hard time being able to, you know, express how they feel to you or even give you a hint to how they feel. So if you think this person is not into you, no, they've been in agony over how, you know, how to tell you or even, you know, give you a hint that they're into you. Okay. Then we have codependency. Addictions are ruining your romantic life. Sorry, did I say ruining? I meant affecting. <laughs> Okay, what I'm getting with this, uh, it's coming from this person, you know, your crush. They are definitely basing some of their happiness, not all of it, but some of their happiness on the reactions that you give them to certain things. You know what I mean? Like if you weren't to like laugh at their joke one day or if you weren't to, uh, I mean, if they said like a joke about them being hot and you didn't like validate them, they'd probably feel a little bit butthurt. They'll be a little bit sad. They're like, um, like I thought you, oh, I really hope that you like me <laughs> and all this kind of stuff. Okay, then we have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit and fun to shine. Yeah, they're just hoping to like be playful with you, to flirt with you, to kind of get this back, but also realize that this this flirtiness and this playfulness, it does kind of mess with their emotions sometimes, like even them doing that because they really hope you're gonna respond in a certain way. And if you don't, they really are thinking about that at the end of the night, like, oh my God, I did something wrong. Like, you know what I mean? Okay, then we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. You know what? They just really feel like you are on your own shit. You're doing your stuff. You're looking good while you're doing it. You know, taking care of yourself, loving on yourself. Um, you're glowing, boo. Okay, that's all I got to say. And uh, this person really notices it, and they want to be on your vibe with you. You know what I mean? That's really that's really part of it. You look so fun. You look like you're having a great time. They want to be around that. They want to be a part of that. And yeah, it's like, uh, sometimes they feel like they're not on that same wave with you, you know? Maybe this person's a little bit of a worry wart too. They're afraid they're gonna like bring you down. Okay, then we have release your ex. Yeah, definitely worry wart. The time has come to clear your energy. The thing is, this person, um, they could have had an ex that like really hurt them, or they could have just been in like a lot of situations where they had a crush on someone and it did not work out. So they're really afraid to take this leave with you because they're like, uh, like this is gonna be like the last time. Like, I remember when I dated Rachel and then it didn't work out. Shout out to all my Rachels out there. Um, anyway, <laughs> just wanted to use your name as an example. But, uh, yeah, they're really afraid of the past repeating itself. That's kind of why they can't, um, you know, for lack of a better word, nut up and come towards you. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> um, okay, now we'll move on to the last deck. This is a really short and sweet reading. So we have the boat. This says receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. So what I'm getting with this is that, you know, in the current relationship, this person feels like they're getting everything that they really need from you or want from you. You know, the friendship is enough. Or, or even if you two are in separation, just knowing that you two have a relationship, it's enough. You know, they're happy with that. But they're having a hard time possibly moving on from the idea of having you as more than a friend, okay? Then we have separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, unsure about the future. So like I said, they are unsure about the future when it comes to you two. Are you guys going to fade out? Are you going to rekindle? Are you going to be friends? Are you going to be lovers? You know, they're really unsure and they're hoping for the best. Um, but yeah, they're really missing you if you two are in separation right now. And again, they just really know how to, they don't know how to reach out. They're really just in their heads right now. Um... Yeah. Okay. And then we got karmic relationship and this came out in reverse. This says fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Okay. Then we also have soulmates with that soul connection partnership and uh, agreement. So 
this to me is like this person really cannot tell if this relationship is a soulmate connection or a karmic connection okay they don't really feel like you guys have all the triggers and turmoil and like crazy stuff like that but they really when it comes to the outcome right they cannot tell whether this is going to go in a soulmate direction or a more karmic direction where they're learning a lesson versus getting to be with you so if you're interested interested in this person could be a good idea to give them a chance, although they might want to do some more healing before they come towards you. A lot of this is their own perspective. I don't really feel like you guys are like pumping the brakes on them super hard, or maybe you are, but um, yeah, a lot of this is coming from their own head. Hmm. Yeah, do with that what you will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, short and sweet reading. Um, I had a bunch of fun. Uh, if you guys did like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And if you guys um, would like a personal reading, I'm actually taking a week off. So, <laughs> so um, check with me next week. <laughs> Um, and what else? I have the OG reading for y'all today. This is going to be all about their secret fantasy towards you. Ooh. So if you want to know what that is, um, check out the end of the video, all right? And that is going to be it, all right? Hope y'all enjoyed this one, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Okay? Love and light. Bye-bye. Hello, it's my beautiful wallflowers out there. If you've chosen this card, this is your reading. Let's go ahead and get into it. I've already pre-shuffled the cards today um, just for fun. Let's go ahead, go ahead and get into what you got. All right, I'm using the Tarot of Sexual Magic to start out. And you've got the High Priestess in reverse, the Two of Cups, Three of Swords in reverse, the Fool, the Five of Swords, I know a lot of cards, <laughs> the uh, Knight of Cups, sorry, the Page of Cups, and the King of Cups in reverse. Okay, quite a few cards here on the board to start off with. So my wallflowers if you think your crush does not notice you you are so wrong okay you may think you're a wallflower but you're actually being noticed by quite a few people right now especially your crush okay and your crush sees you as someone who's very um like soft and sweet and and possibly funny um also like book smart okay maybe even a little bit shy um but i think you're very very cute and like gentle also like sexy in this kind of like innocent way um don't know what to say about that <laughs> that's what's coming through okay uh, then we have the two of cups here so this person most definitely feels like they could have a relationship with you they, they can kind of see themselves with you they can see themselves going on dates with you taking you out um they definitely see you know a possibility of even in relationship or they have fantasies about this happening but they're also worried right um because they feel like they don't know how to woo you they don't know how to like really approach you here with three of swords in reverse they feel like they're they're i'm getting an image of like a deer this person is afraid that if they make any sudden movements they're gonna scare you off you know kind of like that right or if they show too much emotion they could like scare you off you know they're trying to approach things slowly the way they can um you know build upon them in, in a way that'll stick you know so we have the fool here this person is definitely going to take a leap of faith towards you they're, they're kind of planning it they're, they're definitely into that um if they have been kind of like acting like they aren't that into you or like they're a player or something that they get that they get bitches or whatever you know I don't know if they act like that, but uh, if they have in any capacity, this has all been to impress you, okay? Side note, on um, the chest area, is popping. it's popping. It's popping, okay? For a lot of y'all, uh, this person thinks you have a beautiful chest. I don't want to hear none of y'all in the comments being like me with my eight cups, okay? I said what I said, <laughs> and they're popping, okay? I said what I said. This person thinks that, you know, the, the chest area is really it. Also, um... The, the lower back i don't know if any if this person has seen the lower back have they seen the bootay okay they're into all that anyway <laughs> it's a whole different thing um but yeah this person has possibly been trying to act a little bit like a player to seem like they you know like they pull um and they're not really like that is was what i'm kind of getting actually they've been really stressing about how to impress you okay with the uh, with the knave of chalices here this is the page they've been really stressing about how to get with you how to woo you how to get your attention so they kind of are going about it in a way that's not so constructive you could even think that they have somebody or they're dating someone else but really they're just trying to 
even make you a little bit jealous, possibly for some of you. This person, I, don't, I won't even lie to you, they're not the most emotionally mature, okay? So they're kind of trying to go about this in a way where you would get like a little bit jealous to try and get your attention, okay? Let's move on to my white cards, okay? So you have, starting off with, deceptive, selfish, sneaky, <laughs> attractive, and magnetic, okay? So this person is being a little bit deceptive in their way of coming towards you, like I said. Um, they, I don't know, they, they just don't know how to impress you. They, they haven't really messed with anybody like you before, and they, they're just kind of try, trying to approach you like they would approach anybody else, which is kind of trying to make you a little bit jealous or trying to make themselves seem like they're a hot commodity on the market right now. Then we have, is it too late? So maybe this person already said something stupid. They already did something kind of, that was kind of dumb. Like, what are you doing? You know what I mean? I feel like this person could have said some stuff that you were like, what are you talking about? Like, when it comes to, and, and it, it didn't, that's fine. But when it comes to, you know, trying to make themselves seem like they're, like they're a hot commodity, they could have already done some stuff that that was like, what is going on with you? And, um, and they're kind of afraid that they messed it up already. Okay, I see you're doing better without me. This person notices that people notice you, if that makes any sense. So if you think that you're a wallflower, if you think that you're hiding from the crowd, um, no, the crowd has found you, okay? People see you, people admire you. Um, there are more people who admire you than you think also. So uh, this person is like, oh man, like I have competition. You know, there are people who already like wallflower. Like what am I gonna do? Okay, I don't know if I can trust you, all right? Yeah, this person just feels like, you know, not that you're not that into them, but you just not are not easily won over. Um, they're like a little bit afraid that you would like break their heart or that, huh, or that just like wouldn't go well. You see right through them, stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, so they're trying to be really uh, calculated about how they're going about this. They're playing a little bit of some games, but just because they don't know any better, okay? I appreciate everything you do for me. So on a lighter note, this person does really like you. They like your work ethic. They like you know, your personality, um, and they feel like you're really fun to talk to, you know what I mean? If you ever give this person advice, they probably follow that advice and it actually works, it actually helps them, things like that. And then lastly, damn, you're one bad bitch. I mean, period. Okay? <laughs> we already knew that. I mean, stop. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, definitely. They think you are super hot, super attractive. I mean, what can we say? Uh, we already knew that. Pasha. Anyway, I'm having too much fun now. Okay. Romance angels. All right. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. They feel like some more time could be needed before you two can really like sort things out. Um, or even just the, like, the universe or their spirit guides kind of being like, okay, slow your roll there, bud. You got to stop with this jealousy thing. It's not going to work. You know what I mean? So um, the universe even can be keeping you, you, you two apart to like save you some trouble right now because eh, they're kind of like I said they're approaching you in kind of like sideways manner you know what I mean then we have it is safe for you to love okay so just kind of like what I said they're taking some time out okay with retreat again they're gonna take a time out to kind of heal more so that they can actually come to you and um, be a better option all right very soon well look at that very soon so either very soon they're gonna take a retreat or if they have already been retreating very soon they're going to come back and actually have like something more solid for you, okay? Because they kind of took the time to like discover like, hey, making people jealous isn't the right way to go about this. Okay, last, 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 a short and sweet reading for y'all. I have, um, what are these called? The um, Island, Island Time Wellness Love Oracle Cards. <laughs> okay, so this is called The Hammer. All right, sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. So. Simply, they're working on it. They're working on getting better. They kind of, they're going to realize that they were approaching this in a manner that would end up self-sabotaging. So, they're, they're, you know, they're doing better. I like you. Duh, they like you. So, Romance is blooming. Fun flirting, wanting to date. Okay, this person does like you. They do want to date you. If you have been, like, doubting that. Again, they're kind of coming off as super aloof and, like, a little bit of a player because they're trying to impress you, okay? It's not really about anybody else. Now you have a healing heart. Yeah, they're really healing from some old situations that weren't helpful for them. Um, that kind of put them on a different perspective when it came to like what they think about love and how they go about love. So they're trying to just trying to heal that, like I said, before they come towards you again. And then we have date, okay? So like I said, they're going to heal this. They're going to take some time. 
How long is it going to take? I would just say don't wait up on this person. Just continue to date around. You know what I mean? They'll come to you in good time. I actually can't tell right now. Okay? I'll be honest with you. Then we have date. Meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan or set a date. So it's kind of reinforces what I said. Don't wait for this person. But if you're interested in them, I... I don't think there'd be a problem with, um, you know, giving them the time of day when they do show up. You know what I mean? That obviously comes with a grain of salt. Like, okay, how are they approaching you? And, you know, what are they saying to you? What are they offering? Et cetera, et cetera. But in the meanwhile, continue to go on some dates if you're dating. You know what I mean? But your crush definitely likes you, okay? They think you were hot. Um, yeah, they're just having a hard time, like, really approaching you. That's it. All right. Hope you all enjoyed that one. Short and sweet today. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And if you would like a personal reading, um, hold off for a second. <laughs> I'm actually taking a break for a week, uh, just so you know. And uh, what else? I have the OG reading coming up just a few seconds. You don't want to miss that. Of course, it's going to be all about their secret fantasy towards you. Ay, caramba. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm not Spanish. Sorry. Um, anyway, so that's going to be really fun. Uh, check it out. Uh, and down the timestamps below. And that is it for me, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this one, and I'll talk to you in the next one. All right? Love and light. Bye-bye. Hello, it's my OG, so to the very end of the video, and welcome to the reading. Uh, this is all about their secret fantasy towards you, okay? It's about to get spicy. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the hell is in these cards, all right? I have the Tarot Sexual Magic today to start off with, of course. Let's waste no time. Let's go ahead and get into it. For my OGs, what is their crush's secret fantasy towards them? Hmm, we got a bunch of cards coming. I'm actually just going to take whatever comes out today. That's in my vibe today. How are y'all doing, actually? Like, I really, really care. Um, sound off in the comments. How's your day been? I'm filming on a Friday. la di da di da Okay, so let's look, <laughs> let's look at what we got. Okay, uh, we have the High Priestess in Reverse. I'm seeing a lot of my wallflowers. Uh, I came over to this pile, hey. Um, okay, anyway. So this person feels um, their secret fantasy towards you. Hmm. Well, the first of all, they feel like you're very smart, okay? They feel like you're really, uh, you're really sexy in like, I don't know, in this way that they haven't really met someone be sexy before. This is like, you have this very interesting, unique sex appeal. I really can't describe because there's so many of you. Um, but it's kind of like you are really authentic, um, and you don't hold back for anyone, even though you are, you could be like shy or whatever, but like you, your personality shines through whatever. So they really admire that. Okay. So side notes, this person, um, could want to play with the, you know, the cats. Okay. They're thinking about that. Um, they're thinking about, you know, flicking the bean. Okay. With their hands. All right. They feel like they got the key. They feel like their hands are the key. You know, they're good with their hands. Okay, moving on. All right. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. We have some people who are into stockings. So we're into lingerie. We have some people who are into some more extreme stuff. Okay, I won't even lie. We have people who are into candle wax. Let me find out. Y'all are some freaks in the comments. Okay, I got a candle right here. What's good? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, this person kind of is into you, like into that kind of stuff. They kind of want to like see you squirm a little bit. They want to see you like in pain a little bit. They want to see like what that would be like um, to kind of, you know, to play around like that. Oh my goodness. Ooh, it's getting steamy. Okay. Um, they also would like to do it in the mirror. Okay. They think about doing it in the mirror with you guys. What would that be like? Okay. Um, wow. I'm getting that song. Like I never seen that ass like that. Like you guys on that one? Um, this person, wow. They have a huge like, they have a crush on you, and they have a crush on your butt. Like, it's a whole, it's a whole separate relationship, almost. Like, <laughs> I don't know if they've ever seen your butt. We're getting a lot of butt messages today, also. Um, so, yeah, they like that. Whatever you look like, I don't want to hear y'all in the comments below, like, me and my two pancakes. Okay? But they like the pancakes. They got hot syrup on them. Like, come on now. Anyway, so, so they think you're really hot. I think you have um, really hot, hot cakes. Okay, no matter what the cakes look like. If you ever wear high heels on this person, whoo, they like the high heels. This person could also have a thing for feet, okay? Not in like a crazy way. 
<laughs> not that I think that's crazy, but what I'm saying is like they're not uh, obsessed with them, um, but they definitely would like they like a good pair of manicured like feet. You know what I mean? <laughs> I guess who doesn't? You know? Um, God, I do. <laughs> you know, probably like lunar or something to say to us. I don't. I don't have anything to say to you. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, this person definitely likes some feet though. <laughs> They feel like your feet are cute. Um, again, with the booty, like they feel like the booty's really on point. They feel like um, you would look really amazing in like a milk bath. It's so random. But they want to see you in the ocean. They want to like see you in water. They want to see you wet. That's what it is. That's what it is. They want to see you um, like in a bikini and they want to see you like dripping wet. They like imagine that, okay? Maybe you had your hair wet around them like one time or so and they were like, oh whoa <laughs> is it steamy in here or is it just you okay so i think they're really sexy in that way also kind of like naturalistic uh, if you like wear your natural hair or things like that i don't know um that's an extra special sign like they think you're very naturalistic okay also getting brown and um red for the hairs um for the hairs okay sorry blondes uh not yet <laughs> so we got um Okay, name of chalices here. This person just feels like they don't know how to like talk to you. Um, they don't know how to text. They don't know how to like communicate with you. They're trying to possibly hint to you that they want to talk to you one on one, but maybe it's not the appropriate environment to do that. Um, they're having a hard time, and um, they think about you at night. Also, they think about you at night. All right. Um, they think about like I don't know. This person has even thought about like writing. <laughs> Oh, so awkward like fan fiction i know that's extra this person has even thought about like writing a fanfic about y'all like you know what i mean writing their journal being like mm, me and so and so at the end of the night all right this person is a little freak okay freak a leak and then we got um 10 of wands so i think i said something about outdoors definitely want to do it outdoors person wants to see what your panties look like also i don't care if y'all wear boxer briefs panties i'm just kidding anyway it doesn't matter what you wear but they want to see what those underwears <laughs> look like i don't want to get demonetized anyway um yeah they want to see what they look like and they also want to kiss you okay <laughs> on a lighter note on a much lighter note they do want to kiss you and they want to um they feel like you're like a good kisser okay they feel like you have really pretty lips as well gorgeous lips if you wear makeup really nice makeup okay great skills all right let's check it out what else do we got What's their fantasy? Okay. Are you thinking about me? I need to know you still care. Okay. They're, they feel like you're not that interested in them. Mm-hmm. Yes, definitely. Because you have unbothered and carefree. But you're looking hot, though. You're looking hot and unbothered. Okay. All right. I need to explore all possibilities right now. Yeah, it makes them feel like you're just not totally that into them. They feel like you are maybe dating around right now. That you're just like, I don't know. You're not too sold on them or anything like that. What else have we got? That was kind of the fantasy portion. I find you insanely attractive. Okay, but we already knew that. <laughs> but we knew that. All right. And I'm just singing and dancing. Okay, what else? What else is here? I know I'm being deceptive. Yeah, yeah. On a certain level, they feel like they're kind of like being a little bit sneaky. You know? I'm seeing someone else and I'm worried about you. You know, they're worried that you could be seeing someone else. I really take these as being a pair. Um, the word that you're seeing someone else that you wouldn't be into them. Um, and that's kind of it, guys. Okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have, damn, you're one bad bitch. Okay? Period. Period. All right? I know all my OGs are bad. Are baddies. Baddie bees. All right, y'all. I really hope that you had a fantastic day today. A day, night, or evening. Hope you all enjoyed this reading. Um, well, I, th I, was, I thought it was so much fun. I ended up laughing, like, so much more than I even thought I would. I have to say, you know, you know, obviously we all know life, life is, life is not too fast, right? <laughs> life is not too fast. I'm filming on a Friday. Um, sometimes I'll, <laughs> I never have like an extra video prepared. This is just my own uh, thing. Maybe I, should, maybe I should try to tell you guys that. But um, uh, whenever I'm like, oh man, I got to get on here and like film. I got I to, gotta, you know, make things happen. I, I sometimes feel like, oh, I wonder if it's going to be fun today. Like I hope I'm going to have fun. And it's always a blast. Like I always love coming on here and filming. I can feel you guys' energy and like us laughing together and having fun. And I just love it. I love the energy that we've created on this channel. And I want you guys to know, like, obviously, yeah, I'm talking, but it's not just me. Like, I really feel you guys' energy. I really feel you guys, you know, like, having fun with me, being mad at me when I say things wrong or whatever. 
Um, but I just really appreciate the relationship that I feel like um, we're forming on this channel. I know that's like extra of me to say, and I'm, I know I'm being gushy right now, but I just love you guys. I think that this channel is so special, and I really appreciate everyone who comes on here, all the comments that you guys leave. It's really incredible. And even if I don't reply to your guys' comments right away, know that I see them. If you guys send me an email, know that I see them and that they make my day, and that sometimes I'm having a bad day and I don't want to. <laughs> I almost don't want to respond because I'm having a bad day. But you guys made me so happy. You guys made me so happy. And I love coming on here, you know, twice a week. Um, it's the highlight of my week every time, okay? I just want you guys to know that I love you guys. Um, and have an awesome, awesome day, night, or evening, okay? All right, lots and lots of love and light. Bye-bye.